Lubuntu 14.04.2 is now released. So what does that mean if you're using the system? Well, not a lot, you just do your updates and your system will be increased into 14.04.2. If you're doing a new install, well, there's less updates to do on it now because the disk has been respun, so there's, it comes with the new bug releases and updates on there. So it makes things a bit easier. Now I notice there's been a lot of uh, backported updates from Ubuntu 14.10 brought into Unity. So Unity has now improved a bit on 14.04. That's great if you're using Unity. I'm using Kubuntu, so I don't think they've really changed anything. The new hardware enablement stack is now out, so you can have a newer kernel, and newer Xorg drivers, and newer, newer OpenGL. That's good. However, when I tried it here in Kubuntu, it was going to cause a mass breakage, <laughs> so maybe advisable to check what it's going to do to your system first. I'll show you what's going to happen there. But yes, it's good news. Ubuntu 14.04 is continued to be supported, and we've now got what, another four years left of support. So let's take a look at this kernel update. The instructions are provided here for your desktop or server installs. So that's the line there, you could just chuck into terminal and go with it, but it may not be advisable as I'll show you why. So that's the kernel update, no issues there. If I'm trying to install in the Xorg update, you'll see I've got to be removed. Um, <coughs> That's most of KDE going to be removed there. Right, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Look, the list just goes on and on. We've got things like VLC is going to be removed, wine. Yeah, I can't do that update. There's just no chance. Oh, some of wine's going to be reinstalled and a few things to be upgraded. Um, pass. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. There's been no news on Kubuntu if they're doing a respin of the disk, so we've got no chance of getting that for the moment. I'm not really too worried though. Uh, my hardware's older, so it's not, I'm not really going to see much in the way of improvements. Anyway, that's all the updates. So checking the LSB release first, you can see I've got Ubuntu 14.04.1 LTS. Yep. So we'll see if that improves. If you're doing it through Ubuntu Server, you would do a sudo apt-get update first, and then sudo apt-get dist upgrade. And then you've got the install line here if you want to put the new kernel in. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, well, out of interest, I tried it on my home theater PC. So this is just Kodi with not much else on it, and everything seems to stay intact. Only things that are going to be removed are things that are actually going to be upgraded. So, I'm more than happy to do that upgrade. New hardware enablement stack is now installed on my home Fiat PC. Now let's install the rest of the updates. Home Fiat PC is finished. And doing LSB release dash A, you can see I've got Ubuntu 14.04.2. Excellent. Tell it to reboot. The update's finished over here on my main PC, so. Let's see what LSB release we have this time. And you can see I have increased there as well. So there you go, that was the news that Ubuntu 14.04.2 has been released. Right, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.